what you think? What you think? How, how life you be out here too? How, uh, what's the life like down here in Kensington? I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Like, <clears throat> like from you know, what, what would you say your day? You know, like your daily routine. My daily routine, you know, waking up. Uh, sell works. Like for the people that don't know, what's works? Oh, uh, works is like somebody that sells surrenders. Okay, yeah. and that's and that's what I would, you know for people to get high or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How much they usually go for? Well, yeah. uh, surrenders like they go for two for a dollar. Okay. You know what I mean, two for a dollar. And sometimes, sometimes a day a day like this will be slow. Sometimes be fast. You know. Now, if it's a dry day, even if it's cold, that'd be faster. I mean, you make a couple of dollars here and there. I mean, you don't. I've seen people make at least like 15, 20 bucks. Maybe. The maximum I say about like 40 bucks a day. What, just selling works? Selling works. Okay. I mean, and dollars. how you get them? Should you get them for it? And all this that, you know. I call it um, five finger discount. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's still pretty hard, man, because you, you gotta do things that you don't want to do, man. Just to get. You know I mean, if you're not proud of it, you know what I mean. But hey, that's how life it is. You know what I mean, when you're in, in the drug world, especially if you're a heroin addict. Yeah, because I'm a heroin addict. I've been heroin addict since like oh my god. Since I was like 19 years old. How old are you now? 39. So you've been so you've been using using a heroin since you was 19. Yeah. So since 19 to now consecutively. Yeah, off and on. I said off and on. Off and on. Like is it, is, it, is it hard to? Hard um, to... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it's hard. The withdrawal. Like, like if you trying to like like quit. The only thing is like. Oof. I'm trying to, you know, detox yourself. You know what I mean? You go to um, you know, detox hospitals and stuff like that. And going through it, man, it's not about the mentality thing. It's about the physical. That's the only thing you want to go through. You know, pain in the stomach, uh, pain in the back, you know. Bubble bones, guts. Oh, man, it's like, pain, pain no joke, man. But rather right than that, I seen people make it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen right. people make it. Like, try to quit. I definitely appreciate well, that. Like but well, like I was saying, man, um, I seen, I seen, I seen people make it, man. It's not hard. It's not hard, man. It's the people willpower. Put the effort in there, man. You know what I mean, especially if you tired, man. Tired going through this, through this every day. But for me, it's like a we the door going. I gotta wake up every morning between like four, four o'clock in the morning, four thirty, just to wash my face, wash my teeth, you know, brew myself, you know, put my clothes on, then shoot out and try to figure it out what's Whoa. my next step. Look at that, right? It's the same thing. So every morning, by four o'clock in the morning, you up trying to figure out how basically you gonna get high. Mm -hmm. What gonna be my next move? How I gonna make good? At least, at least, at least to make my five dollars in the morning just to get my 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 wake up. So like, all right. So so just soon as you wake up, you need at least five dollars to yeah. to get out. The... I mean, I mean, it, it's sad because you got others. They need like 10, 15, 20 bucks. I'm not proud. I'm saying because I do one bag. It just it's people that got worse oh habits. My God, yes indeed, man. I'm not seeing it, man. I mean, and it's sad, man. You know, it, it, um, I'm not proud on this, on this, man. You know, I thank God that even though I didn't want my mother, you know, and I help my mother the best way I can, you know, and I thank God I got a roof over my head. I got water to drink, water to take a shower, you know. My mom cooked, you know. She washed my clothes and everything for me, but every time I come out, I see people sleeping on the street, man. And it's sad. And it's not that, you got you got young boys in the middle of the night. I want like what midnight, I mean one o'clock in the morning, hurting people while they sleeping, throwing water at them, bottles, kicking them. Mm-hmm. I mean that 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 right there. 
I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, man. I don't wish nothing bad on nobody. I wish, I mean, you know, one day we all just realize this shit, man. Just get it over, man. Like, I'm not saying take a lie, but get over there. Like, stop this shit. Man. Fuck it, man. At least try to get a little, a little part time job on the side. I mean, even if you don't get a job, at least if you do a do, do things like a little side job, a little cut grass, you know what I mean? Or, or do something that you're not hurt, hurting others, you're not stealing, you know what I mean? What I do, I know I hurt others because, you know, I, uh, I help people hit themselves, but they can't hit themselves. You know, like for the ones that don't know what the, what's hit yourself. Uh, hit yourself like, okay, you got others that it's hard for them to hit themselves uh, with a syringe and uh, if they need somebody to hit them in the neck or in the arm or in the hand, you know, and I'm the kind of person that I, uh, I ain't no doctor or the bottom is what you want to call it, but I help them, you know, to inject whatever they have in that syringe. You know? So if they don't inject it right, what will happen? Uh, you know, if you inject it right, you know, you get paid, you get a little dollar, two dollar here. Sometimes, you know, the same people in blessing with five bucks, maybe a bag, whatever. You know what I mean? Riding that, I look at that shit too, man. Because, you know, if I'm, if I'm still hurting them too. You know what I mean? I'm helping them, I'm killing them too. The same way I'm trying to kill them, um, using drugs too, I'm killing myself. The way I'm killing them. We look at it as everyday life, but to other people, it's like a shame. You get what I'm saying? Which our everyday life shouldn't be everyday life. Mm -hmm. More than just huh? go somewhere else and stand doing this. Right. But in the meantime, I gotta do this. Don't get me wrong. Um, I've been going to places like Prevention Point. Um, I've been telling a couple of people, um, they're trying to help me, like, you know, um, as um, trying to. Um, find a detox because right now there are so so many rehab centers but there ain't too many detox centers that's what they need right now is more detox centers detox hospital that's what they need and especially when you're trying to go to a place called detox they make you sick and alive for for a day or two knowing that yeah, uh, thank you. Definitely appreciate you talking to me, man. Appreciate it. Uh, double bite. Brand new condition. Beautiful. And I'll talk to cheap. I'll give it to you for 10. Oh my God, if I have money, I'll buy that joke. Check it out. Jesus Christ. Tires, everything is perfect. Oh, but they're connected together. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, man. Huh? Cut it out, huh? <laughs> you just cut it out, huh? Yeah, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You know what would have been better? If I get the lock number right, you got to If you would have took the lock off and brought us both the bikes, that means the value would have went up just on the strip that you was advertising then, two yeah. bikes that was free to be driven off on. Right. Even though they messed up. But they can't even be mobile if they was put together because they locked together. All right. Try not to get his kid. I got like 30 units in here. Okay. My dope in here. Was that dope or that's the fentanyl? This is fentanyl. Okay. And drink. Oh, it's mixed. It's mixed in within the fentanyl. You right. stir it properly. Make sure you got everything. So is this better than... Um, I can't tell until I try it. No, I'm saying, do y'all, you like the fentanyl and drink? I like the, the drink. Bro? I like fentanyl with a little less drink, but drink in it. Um, just to get a little bit uh, of the nod and the sleep. Um, and the help of the release the pain. That's what the rush is for. So, come in, I'll grab my work, put my plunger in, the back in. I draw up. Push it back in, make sure. Each 
to the second man. Huh? Go to him. Look. Hold on, show you real quick. It's gonna come out cloudy. That's it. That's the fentanyl. Push it up. Take the little air out. Can't have no air in your work. All right, any little air bubble will give you air gut in your veins. I put 30 units of water, and that's exactly what I got back. 30 units. Hit that bitch around the corner. Tell him what you doing, bro. Mix it up. Got to get hit. No, we don't, sir. Fuck, you want to hit me in the neck? Yeah, I hit you in the neck. I'll demonstrate on that. Down on you. Just in time. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you want to huh? Hold on, I need tourniquet. Anybody got tourniquet? What's that? That's a tie. Blue tie. If not, we use a string. Oh, so you can't get a vein? I can't, I can't hit him. Hold up, hold up. Cop, Hondo! Hondo, coming down! I got 70 pesos. 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 Make sure you always catch dark blood. Make sure you what? Always catch a dark blood. Nobody got a bad that mean? That's the main order. Fuck, dog, now I can't make this money with this bull, bro. How do I eat this kind of shit? Boom. Done. Ready? Yep. Watch this. Oh, make sure you untie yourself, too. Why y'all draw the blood in? The blood's what gonna give you the, uh, that's how you know you got this spot. All right? And then you push it down, it gives you a full legal injection. Got you, got you. Know? you. Legal. It's legal once I run it in, because I'm the doctor. <laughs> oh, I, you, I know what I'm doing, I know where to hit. You so the doctor around here? Like, yeah, I'm always local, always around. Um, always the main hitter. I'm, I'm, I got you, you know what I'm saying? I charge for low. It does. I do charge for the simple fact, because it's life at risk. Um, you're taking your own life at risk, you, you know, you got to die from it, or you can survive from it. You know, that's how you do it, and how strong the chemicals within the dope are. So, um, make sure you know where you cop it from, where you cop it from. Stay with the same dope dealers, do not change dope dealers, do not go to different blocks. Once you cop from one block, stay on that same block, stay fuck on that same person. Where you know you got your same shit, and if anything happens, he could always be the one to fix it for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if anything happens, you're liable and responsible for it, because it's just uh, you took it within your own uh, well, but he's the one who. Right, know, I get what you're saying. So he's your doctor. I'm your doctor. Hit him. You know, I hit you in the neck or your <laughs> arm anywhere. Hard hit or not. Um, What's a hard careful. hit? Hard hit if you can't, you got too much uh, scar tissue. You got too much uh, extra skin or ward out skin that you can't go through. Your needles always got to be sharp. And you always, hold on, let me put my jacket. Always, always want to keep, yourself. always clean up after yourself. You always want to have a brand what? new work. There's a difference within these works. 27 gauge and a half, right? For the simple fact, it's just the roundness of the tip. How wide it is. See a little blackness, okay, of it? See how, hold on. Okay, you see where that hole came from? Yeah. Okay, that's how wide the hole is. If I was to get, um, uh, what's that? What's the next gauge up? 37, right? I mean, 27, I mean, 28. To, to the gauge. What's the lowest? Yeah, the, uh, they the go higher, up or go down? The higher up is the... The wider. The wider and the longer. Okay? You always want to no, keep... No, no, it's the lower. It's the, the, when you go down, it's thicker. Okay, yeah. So when you go 
when the numbers drop down, that means how the gauges on the needle are means how, how they, okay, okay, yeah. Let him explain that. It's gonna be a thinner no, no, needle. From the beginning. Oh, well, well. All right, it's 27 gauge, right? It means how wide and thick the needle is. See how long it is? It's the same way as like if you were to pierce your ears with gauges. It was just oh, like if you pierce your ears with gauges and stuff, so you gotta be more effective to it. You always wanna get a 27 and a half gauge, always. Why, because it's right there, it's, it's even. The it's the perfect gauge. It's the perfect, you won't feel it. Gauge is exactly what it says. You know, and, and, and the work will tell you. The item, the lot, the manifest, the, the expire, their expiration on the way. Works do have an expiration date. Yes, they do. So, if, if we were at 2024, actually it says 20, 24, 11, 24. So, so uh, November the 24th, 2024. Right. So, that's how long these works will last, but not every one. Some works may come straight, cool, easy. Some works may come damaged. You know what I'm saying? The tip may be looking like it's okay, but it might have like a slight little hook, and it can hook your vein. It hooks your vein, you got a new hole in your vein that will take time to heal. That's where it comes to extra scar tissue. And also, not only that, it'll make sure that um, you got to make sure that uh, you don't go back there, right? And also, when before you hit, or when you go to go hit, always make sure that your vein is not rolling. Because it's going to roll if it's a rolling vein. Always use a new work. Right. Always want to Because, like he just said, you always want to clean. Vein, which is, you're pushing the vein instead of penetrating with the needle. Always want to be out And that's how you get abscess because they go through. Abscess. And you're missing the vein. This is the abscess, how I'm healing off it. And your muscle and your tissue and your, you know what I mean? So, all the arteries. You just got to be on point. You got to be careful what you do, how you do it. Especially in the neck. Yeah. Because you can catch abscess in the neck. And it'll look like this. This is one abscess. It started from here, 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 back here. That's where the hose is going to start. And then it mainly hit here. So that was a bad abscess. That was meth and dope mixed in together. And 25, tw uh, 24 minutes later, I did a speedball. That's dope and powder together. And I ran that right behind it. Not even 20 minutes behind each other. That's dangerous because powder... And meth is not supposed to mix. And not even that close in time. It can give you a heart. It can shut it down. Or it can reach your heart so fast so you loosen it. And it makes you feel like your heart just jumped out your chest. And you have no life, no soul. Which is just a mind development part of the stage. Um, it all changes once you get that up in you. You know what's up. You're going to have a little rush. You might have a heavy rush depending on the drug. Depending on who makes it. Depending on where you got it from. You know, so it all depends on how you do it. So remember, before you do anything, make sure you need safety, got all your, all your, uh, everything you need. Make sure you got your cleaning equipment to clean up before and after yourself. Um, and just be safe when you're doing it. Make sure you have Narcan. Narcan is important. Um, I will show you what Narcan had, it looked like if I had one on me. Um, I just used it 9 or 25 minutes ago for a body. Um, other than that. Well, your name. My name is Zeke. I'm tuning in for Europe. Rubbing K&A right now. No blocking. No blocking specific. It's K&A in Germany. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, too. Uh, that I'm out there on the block. You know what I mean? I'm chilling with some good guys. Right. But what you want to know? All right, like, from, from your aspect, like, what you, like... All right, like, all right, like, what's the daily? What's what, what is like the hair? Like on the daily, what's the Kensington day? Like, tell Kensington people what you day down what, here. What you liable to see coming down? Nine times out of ten, from early in the morning. Well, at any given time of the day, you're always going to see somebody high. I'm talking about scary high. It's, it's times. When I say seeing somebody high to me as regular as regular, like putting on socks. But it's scary highs that you see, like the high that you see that you don't want your kids on the same side of the street. Shit like that. Like you see somebody getting high and you'll see a whole sidewalk full of regular people that don't get high cross over. But they don't even want to walk past that high person. 
So you see scary high sometimes, like some right, people's right. body get out of control to the point where you don't know what's going on with them, whether they high, whether they, you know, we don't, we don't really go into the possession, but right. that's what they look like. Right, right. That's a regular day. Like, you're liable to see so much random shit and get scary to the people that ain't used to it. Right, You right. gotta be used to unnormal shit to be a normal motherfucker in prison. Right, right. You can't be down here on some, I'm regular all day, every day. You think you're going to see regular shit. Ain't no regular shit down here. You ain't got regular niggas, just wolves down here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, not regular shit. niggas around here. So you got to be used to unnormal shit, being around unnormal niggas. We not normal niggas. Because we in Kizzleton. We not from Kizzleton. But we here though. Right. I mean, you can't be down here and be a normal nigga. Because normal shit not going to happen, I promise. Right. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's... The worst kind of place in the world, but if you do enough details, if you if you read about this shit enough, it'll tell you. If you look it up, uh, yeah, it, no, not the city. Actually, Kensington well, is like it, like in the world. Like this though, what I'm explaining, you can't be. We not normal niggas to be out here. You know why? Because everybody separate themselves. When you out here amongst this, the worst kind of niggas, when you out here worst amongst amongst the worst kind. You gotta be amongst the worst kind of a nigga in a different way. So you got to be the worst kind of nigga against the niggas that are trying to make you like this. You see what I'm saying? This is the one of the worst parts of the city to walk on, bro. Niggas cross the street from the sidewalks out there. From niggas and addicts. So you got to understand. Motherfuckers scared to come outside in the daylight and at night. Why the fuck would you be one of the worst kind of niggas out there? When at 8 o'clock in the morning, the same shit that can happen to you at 3 in the morning can get done. You can get hit at 8 in the morning, you can get hit at 3 in the morning. Real shit. You can take it from a motherfucker that's out here 24 7, all day, every day in the summertime, in the wintertime. I ain't the only motherfucker that can vouch. There's motherfuckers out here that live trenches. Listen, niggas live trenches. Listen, this shit. There's two types of niggas out here, man. There's the fiend, there's the niggas who get money, man. If you ain't getting money, man, you're a fiend, nigga. You're getting high. I mean, that man, listen, you're chasing a bag, getting to a bag. I love it. You say, you're a fucking bag. That's real rap. And that's real, but. It gets to the point where it's though, people pick certain blocks to walk down our way. So niggas don't wanna, I'm not gonna take K and A at certain time. Like at the end of the day, when the sun goes down, you don't really see a lot of kids under the house. And there's a lot of people around here that live around here, like motherfuckers walk to the stores and all that. But they'd rather take a back block because under the L it's kind of like, I'm a runner to somebody that's gonna scare my kid. That's the shit they think about. You know how you see a little kid remember something weeks later, you like, how you remember it so vividly? Right. Imagine them seeing the same type of people all day, every day. That's all they gonna talk about. Mom, why these people be like this? You gonna try to stop them from talking about it, but it's hard. It's all they see. Right, that's, I mean, that's why as a man and as a grown human being, when you, you can't clown certain shit. When you out here, you can't clown somebody OD. I hate OD. So what if you know you get high, but you can't clown nobody OD because what if one of your little cousins walk into the store and accidentally step on a nigga? How about that OD? That OD won't be funny. Right. Too. So you can't laugh at the person that got a problem because the same person that got a problem could drop his needle because he got a problem and your niece or your nephew step on it. And that should be the end for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? I used to clown until I started being down here enough to say, damn. Uh, shit, Most bro. Of these motherfuckers out here like this is the young boy that just walked past me going to school, mom. That's real. She get high while he in school, but she not while he at home. So I'm not gonna clown her no more because I know she let her son go to school, which is a major part of this shit around here. Because the majority of the, uh, the motherfucking addicts down here, a lot of these kids is on blocks trapping while they out here getting hot. That's real shit. So you gotta be a man that separates yourself. I know I'm like that. So that happened while you was in sure prison? Like. <laughs> How long you was locked up for? 13 and a half years straight. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dude. What you was locked up for if your mommy asked you? Murdering and kidnapping and home invasion. Keep your head up, man. Everything will be all right, man. You know what I mean? I mean, sorry to I hear that they died. I did my time, bro. 13 years and 11 months straight, yo. You see what I mean? I was doing some real fucking hard time, bro. On Bayside, roll away, dog. Yo, I let people know if you do the crime. We're in town, you don't even fucking know, bro. I've done some real serious time with some real fucking hard. Boys, bro. Murderers, 
murderers, kidnappers, rapists, motherfuckers that are going to fucking prisons for the rest of their life. So, Man, how, how go, fuck, bro. go kill you and rape you, bro, in front of your family, bro. How has prison impacted your life? It's made me a really tough motherfucker, bro. I'll tell you that. My hands are registered, dog. Right, so I'm one of the toughest little Irishmen you and Fitzpatrick you'll ever see in your life, bro. I'm one of the toughest little Irishmen you've ever seen in your fucking life, bro. So no doubt prison made you stronger. Stronger ain't the word, bro. Made you I just a survivor. did 13 and a half fucking years, bro. Both my parents just died, my dad just died on my 21st birthday, bro. How do you know? People don't fucking know, bro. How do you know? I'm 32, bro. I went away exactly right when I was just about to turn 18, bro. And did from fucking 18 all the way to uh, 31 and a half, bro. So what you saying? You committed your crime as a juvenile? All the way in prison, bro. And they charged you as an adult? the toughest motherfuckers you ever seen in your life, bro. Real killers, dog. So let me ask you, you, you was a juvenile and they charged you as an adult? No, he was eight, he was, um, yeah, bro, I killed two people, bro. I'm lucky the lure I had, bro. I, my lure was the one that got the fucking Rabbi Newlander off, bro. Okay. Yeah, bro. Well, I killed here. two people. I, I killed this motherfucker and his girl, bro. I didn't give a fuck, dog. But now you got a chance to start over. I slit this bitch's throat and his fucking throat right in the middle. What, what happened on Christmas today? Uh, I was in my tent and I spilled my candle. It caught my whole bed on fire. So that's and, the um, effects of, you know, getting high with the candle, huh? Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, so, oh, so you so you sleep in a tent? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like every like every day? Like yeah. that's your everyday life? Three years. So For three the, years you've been sleeping outside in a tent? Summer, all season? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, winter, summer, every season. It's hot. Is it hot? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It's sucks. Sometimes when you take that hit, do you think that it'll be that it'll be your last hit? All the time. All the time. Does that scare you? Yeah, a little bit, but you know. Does it make you want to stop? Absolutely. I mean, I know it's an addiction and it's hard. You need it every day to feed your addiction that you don't get sick. Yeah. You know what yeah I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so you don't. So you don't be wanting to. I get anxiety in itself. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. I get anxiety in itself uh, towards the um, the withdrawal. Like I'm afraid to go into withdrawal. I'm deathly afraid, I get panic attacks. It's actually crazy. Uh, I'm sure. I can't go longer than four hours without it. So you, so, do you got anything you would like to say to the people out there that's just starting out on heroin? Uh, if you're sniffing, don't start shooting whatsoever. I, I sniffed for 10 years, I was able to put it down back then, now I can't. I've been shooting for three years, sniffing for 10 years. How you start off? Um, doing Percocets, like for pain. So everybody that, that think the perks in the 30s. I wouldn't say everybody, but uh, you know, anybody but, with certain circumstances, you know, if they're not going through something, you know, they, they might have a strong willpower to not do heroin. But well, other people, you know, aren't so lucky. So for you. Can you, you tell us that so 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 was, yeah, what it's like? We 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 filming on what's a day like down here. So it's a lot of there's a lot of drama down here and all that. So the city made them put cameras to watch everything. Yes. So that, that that's how bad it is in in, you in the store. That, this area? No. No, we that's why we filming. We that's why we down here filming and yeah, we we asking people stuff. Over hundred cameras over there. Mm. Wow. So. Like watching Kensington. So what's the what's the so you said just last week they was in here shooting? Yes, sir. Uh, three, last Friday. Anybody last get Friday. shot? Oh wow. Last week? Yes. Nobody got shot. They did? Yeah, it's four four hours ago. This block closed. Oh, That's crazy. Four hours. And and that shut your business down, right? Hey, of course. That's crazy. Hey, Let's state Cam, your name. New Jersey. Pastor Fred Chen. There you go, Pastor Fred. To buy a life center. T-O-B-I-A-H, it means the goodness of God. 
Our mission is to reach, rescue, and revive people from drug addiction and other life controlling issues. We believe that Jesus is the answer for the drug epidemic. So what we do is come out, we're in the middle of a 